So we're in the garage of the Money Smart family and we just built this eight foot tall by eight foot wide shelf unit out of scrap wood that we had lying around in the garage. And now we're gonna paint it. And what we've got is a collection of old leftover paint. Cans on the bottom shelf are cans that are left over from projects. So we're gonna start pouring paint into a five gallon bucket and see what color we come up with. So let's pour. Now we're mixing color number two. This is a lighter pink color. And each can of paint that we empty, we're going to add a little bit of water to just to rinse out the cans. And we'll get as much of the leftover paint off the side of the can. And we'll mix that into the big bucket. But at least we'll get some of the paint off and it'll thin out the mixture we're making. And it does need to be thin because it's a little bit on the thick side. It is like day glow orange. Uh, I don't know where we got it from, but we're going to mix that in too. Okay. And it's a quart can. Next is a little teeny pint can, eight ounces of a blue. Looking a little like a Jackson Pollock painting. Well, it's getting funkier now. Look at that color. Green and purple and blue. This can, I think, is about 20 years old. It was rusted around the edges from the previous owners of our house. Bare uh, paint and primer all in one, dark brown and we picked it up for uh, $2. So we're gonna mix that in and hopefully that'll make the color a little more like what we had in mind. Okay, so we're adding the final brown mix. So we mixed together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors of paint. Almost done painting. Our brown color is looking really good. It's going on really smooth. It's covering really well. And the color looks nice. 